hello friends in this today's video we're going to install the wordpress with the help of docker in the last video we in the last two videos we have installed the docker on the ubuntu 22 machine and the hosted the static website in our last video so in this today's video our uh, agenda is install the wordpress with the help of our docker so let's connect to this server so here is the option click on connect then copy this command and go to your terminal so you can use uh, if you are using easy you can connect to, to the server using the booty but this is my ubuntu terminal so i am using this to connect to my uh, server so in this downloads part where, uh, where my key this key pair is present so click on the enter and click on s So here you will see we have successfully logged into the logged into our server. So let's check that Docker service is running or not. So login as a root sudo hyphen i, then system ctl status Docker. So our Docker service is running. Let's check the nginx service, which is our web server so host for hosting our application so nginx also running let's check any docker container is running on this server so right now no docker container is running so here you will say this uh, web page is uh, in, in the exited state means this container is not in running state so clear the page let's pull the docker images for the world page so docker full uh, let's create a separate directory for the wordpress and then pull the image then mkdr wordpress mkdr is used to create a directory M mkdr wordpress cd wordpress and then execute the docker pull com command for the wordpress docker pull and the wordpress So docker pulling has started and it's uh, successfully completed in a, within a next few minutes maybe it will so let's check the docker image docker images so here you will see that the wordpress image images has been successfully uh, pulled so run the container with this image so uh, for running the container docker run and then container name hyphen hyphen name then container i am giving this test world face then run on the specific port so i am running this on the 8082 port and then 80 is, is our default port for this uh, please enter prefix as a hyphen p for the port and then hyphen d means detach mode and then run the then enter the image name wordpress and click on enter let's check the so here you will set our container is in running state let's check this website is working or not let's copy the public ip of our ec2 instance and bind the port number semicolon and the port number column and the port number so 80 82 so i think it's not working because in the security group the 8280 80 port 8082 80 port is not open so let's go edit the security group click on the security group which is attached to our ec2 instance so click on edit inbound rules and the enter the port number so custom tcp then 80 and 82 this is my on this port where my uh, wordpress container is running and then execute the uh, as a anywhere means anyone can access this website and click on save this let's refresh this page you will see it's working or not or we are getting the same issue
let's check our container is in running state or not yeah it's running state but we were still facing the same issue yeah it's successfully done because uh, uh, that's not an issue so we have successfully installed our doc uh, wordpress with the help of docker container let's click on continue click on let's go logo but the issue is that we haven't configured the, our database so when we click on submit so here we will get the error in this error in establishing the database connection because we have installed the only the wordpress image we haven't connected the uh, haven't connected the mysql database with this wordpress application so for this in database and the application connectivity we need to install the docker compose docker compose is a is a service and docker compose is a is a part of docker which is used to connect the many containers in a single file so for example we have database con database container and the web page container so docker compose is a yaml file which is used to connect this both containers for this so let's install the docker composer on our docker so this is the official documentation of the for installing the docker composer i will share this link in the description for your reference so let's install the docker compose Uh, if you please make sure to install the docker compose because without docker compose you are not able to set up the wordpress application sorry this is the command for the uh, operating system like uh, amazon linux or the red hat let's check the docker uh, compose version so this is the command docker compose and the version command so here you will see that the this is our docker compose version so let's create a let's create a docker compose uh, yaml file for our application now i am in the wordpress directory so let's create a docker compose file vi docker slash compose dash compose dot ym so this is my docker compose dot yaml file so let's understand this file so this is the version of uh, docker compose in the services first we will create a database with the help of image mysql restart otherwise and the, in the environment we have set up this db credentials and the deep database name and this all the stuff which is needed for the our wordpress application in the volumes we have set up the varlib mysql as a volume in the and the secondly we are configuring our the wordpress uh, wordpress uh, website wordpress image where the it depends on the this database here we will see this option depends on and where and the under this option we have this name my database so this wordpress application depends on the this mysql in the image we have we have wordpress status image the start is always then last time we have run this wordpress application in on 8082 port this time we are running this same application on 8082 port and the, this environment above environment variables were mentioned here and the volume as a slash var www html and let's uh, save this file and uh, let's stop this existing container with the help of docker because uh, in the docker compose file also we have mentioned the 882 port when we up this file docker compose we will get the error of uh, running the container we can, you can enter the container multiple container on the same port so let's stop this docker stop and the container name this wordpress so we have successfully stopped the container so
so let's execute the docker compose command docker compose up hyphen d in a detach mode less why we are getting we have successfully installed docker but still we are getting this this error because the docker is not to install so let's install this command again let's see what will happen you might face the same issue so execute this command sudo apt install docker compose now let's execute the docker compose command docker compose hyphen d for the detach mode so it will start the pulling the image and then it will build the application on port 80 and 82 so let's wait for the docker pulling and creating the application so mysql and the docker wordpress container has been successfully created so this is our the wordpress container name and the this is the database container name so mysql service which is running on a port 3306 and the wordpress uh, which is running on a 8082 let's check uh, our application is now working or not uh, so copy the public ip of ec2 instance in the detail section you will find uh, maybe I'll double down. Click on sign in. Or you can check here also. So here you can execute the curl if config dot me. So here you will get the public IP of your EC2 server. You don't need to go for every time to the console, uh, AWS console. And click on 8082 port so click on continue then i'm just giving test then username just test we will password we will keep as auto generated password and then just enter your email id so my um, click on install the wordpress click on login and here we will enter the username and the password so our username is test and this is our password click on login so here you will see that we have successfully created our wordpress website with the help of a mysql container and the wordpress container so let's make this website url based so go to the cdis slash etc nginx and then con.d so this is a location slash etc nginx where the our all configuration files are stored So last time we created this uh, configuration file for the static for the static uh, for the static web page let's create for the so i'm just giving my website name is wordpress not then my domain name and then dot conf for the configuration file so let's copy the content of this file static so in this uh, tutorial we are running this website on the on a port 80 only so let's copy i'm just copying this existing configuration file and pasting the content in the new wordpress configuration file so 
here you need to change the port number because uh, now our wordpress application is running on a port 8082 and then just in change here the your wordpress mm, save the file so this i am just running this port on a uh, website on 80 port where i have given this my uh, url name and uh, this is my domain name shom04 and this is my subdomain wordpress and in the location section i am just running this uh, website uh, on a on a port 8082 so let's save this configuration file just check the config state of nginx and restart the nginx service so we have successfully started the nginx service just copy the public ip of this server go to your uh, wordpress uh, not a wordpress go, go daddy and uh, add your do add your subdomain and configure the value as uh, your public ip in the my products then this is my wordpress account uh, sorry in go daddy account and then click on dns option so this is my domain name sum04 click on add new record then enter the name wordpress and then here you will choose the a record and then paste the public ip as a ttl then set as a 600 second minimum ttl and click on save record just wait for a minute till the this record is updated let's check the record is updated or not by using the dig command dig then your domain name domain name is wordpress dot cm04 dot xyz and click press enter so this is the in the access section answer section we got this our public ip so here we see, we this, see that with the same public ip means our record is updated successfully so let's check the website is working or not so wordpress dot yeah our website is working successfully here we'll see that let's enter as a wp admin so the we have successfully we make the our website as a url base not an ip base and so here we'll see that this is our website url and this is port number which is running on 8822 so it's done we have successfully implemented our website on a wordpress and configured the url based login so while doing this practical if you are facing any issue please let me in the comment comment section and thank you for the watching video uh, and bye